Yo, 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 mic check, one, two, one, two. What is up, everybody? I know I haven't been on in a while, and I missed you guys. I know you guys miss me, too. So, FYI, I'll make a post about this. All my money jars from the last batch are done. I just got to email everybody and mail out the ones that are applicable. So bear with me on that. That's a process in and of itself, emailing everybody. So, but they are done. Hey, Brandon. Hello, everybody. So I don't have a lot of time on here. Y'all got to work out the ass, but I did want to post a video for you guys. Uh, also, I have a group ritual that I didn't really advertise because I didn't want to do that many. Um, I do have a few spots left. They are they went pretty quick, even though I didn't advertise them. www.arabianconjure.com. Uh, if there if there's still spots up open, they'll be up till about noon tomorrow, unless they sell out before then. Okay, first come first serve. Now, thank you, loving wife. Love you, boo. Did I miss somebody? Um, thank you, Habib D. Okay. Love you, beauty. All right. So this is just an easy banishing spell. I know you guys wanted easy spells, so I'm coming through with those. Now, all you're really going to need is a lemon or lime. This is going bad, which is perfect for this. Uh, so it kind of looks like a combination of both. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Christine. You guys are amazing. Okay, so lemon or lime will work for this. Hey, a lion. Thank you, boo. Okay, and you're really going to need very simple ingredients, no special oils, no special herbs, things that you have at home. Thank you, Yusuf Habibi. Miss you too. Love you, boo. Just what you have in your kitchen. Pretty much everybody should have this, okay? I'm not even going to use any special incense or anything for this example. Just so I can show you guys, you don't need it. I feel kind of naked without it, but it is what it is. Thank you again, loving life. Thank you, share, share. Love you guys. Okay, so all you guys are going to need to do first is you cut this lemon. All right, cut it like downward. Not like a cross, but like this, like the long ways. Okay, cut it in half. Okay. So it kind of looks like a cooch. And then what you're going to do, I have here a picture. Now, you could just use names. If you're going to use names, let me try not to show I'm using a client as an example since I have nobody to banish for myself at the moment. So on one half of the picture, I got the douchebag that I'm trying to banish. On the other half, I got the girl's name and date of birth that I want to banish him from. Just to give you kind of an example, thank you, Ankita. Love you, Habib D. I hope you, you see the testimonial. I'm so grateful. Uh, I'm you know what, girl? I haven't checked my testimonial email today, but I am going to check and I'm going to post it ASAP. Thank you for that. You guys would not even believe it if I showed you my inbox of testimonials. I'm very blessed and grateful. Okay, so names and date of birth on one half of the paper. On the other half, I have this guy's picture, all right? Now, you could put the name and date of birth of the people that of the person you're trying to banish. Thank you, Jemmy. Thank you, Channel Me. So I'm gonna rip them apart, okay? To signify ripping them apart. Now, on his face, I wrote, I banish you. I wrote it in Arabic. I can't show you his face because I don't want you guys to see. I banish you, I banish you in Arabic, okay? And then I put an X on his face nine times. Okay, just to give you an example, derelict boyfriend trying to get rid of him for a client right so you could use this and that so if you didn't have a picture of the derelict boyfriend or whoever you're trying to get rid of if this is just for you put your name and date of birth okay whoever you're trying to banish this person from 
on one side of the paper you put that person's name or your name and date of birth and on the other side the other person's name and date of birth the person you're trying to get rid of or picture or whatever you know about them okay say you don't know their name or their date of birth you just know what they're doing to you in that case you'd have to make a spirit powder which i do have another video um, on that i'll try to link it for you guys okay rip it apart now Set her aside. Thank you, Bunnykins. Okay. So now, no special oils, no special powders. I'm going to take some black pepper. I best bless this black pepper to rid you, to banish you, to separate you from... Keep you away from her. You're bad news. You're a derelict. You're a piece of shit. Okay? Put your anger into it. Put your intention. Okay? Just some salt. It doesn't have to be sea salt. It could be any salt. I'm just using what I have. Sea salt. Okay? I bless the salt to banish you from... Take you away from her, separate you from her so that you no longer speak to her, no longer communicate with her, no longer write her, text her, email her. I banish you. Now, I just so happen to have a white pepper. One of my babies sent me like this spice rack full of goodies, so I'm just using that. Any hot spice is good for this okay so white pepper black pepper cayenne pepper chili powder anything spicy okay but you don't have to use white pepper black by itself is just fine i bless this white pepper to banish you to rid you to separate you from so that you don't speak to her, don't look at her, don't email her, don't call her. You stay the fuck away from her, you perverted fucking derelict. Okay. Cayenne pepper. I bless this cayenne pepper to cause you havoc and destruction. And so that you associate it with and that you separate yourself from her. You no longer call her, no longer speak to her, no longer write her, no, no longer email her, text her, communicate with her in any way, shape, or form. Inshallah. Okay, so then you're going to fold either the name paper or the picture away. Did I miss uh did I miss some super chats? Thank you, Keon. Love you guys. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. Thanks, babe. If I ever miss you guys' super chats, please excuse me. Sometimes I don't see them. I fold your mind, body, and spirit away from. Fold you mind, body, and soul away from say the name of the person i fold you mind body and spirit away from i fold you mind body and soul okay now i'm gonna stick him inside the lemon rocco stop it Okay, close it as good as you can. Now, you're going to need nine pins. It could be safety pins. It could be nails. It could be screws. Something sharp, okay? It could be rusty nails would be even better. But for the sake of this video, I want to use simple things. 
Jemmy, you should be a moderator, girl. Hold on. Let me make you a moderator. There you go. You're in here enough, so you've earned it for sure. Marilyn, hey, boo. You too. Okay, my girls. All right, so. You're going to take this and you're going to stick it through the lemon. I banish you away, mind, body, and spirit. Okay? I'm going to try to pin this close, but if you can't, it's okay. It doesn't matter. As long as you get it through. If it's a safety pin, you don't have to pin it, but... I'm kind of anal, so of course I'm going to attempt it. As you poke them through, you're just going to speak your intention. I banish you away from mind, body, and spirit. Be careful not to get your fingers. I banish you away from. Is Patrona in here? I banish you away from. Hey, not broke. Long time no see, babe. I banish you away from. Nine, nine of them. Nine is the number to dead things. I'll banish you away. Two more. Banish you away from her. Banish you away from her. Mind, body, and spirit. With each pin, you're going to say that, okay? I banish you away from her. Mind, body, and soul, okay? Now, I have here carved his name backwards to represent getting rid of him. And then this is optional, okay? But I also have a coffin candle just to represent deading their relationship, which I'm also going to burn alongside this. You could just keep it to one. You could do two black candles, three black candles, nine black candles, whatever you want to do. But really, you only need one, okay? Now, if you're only using one candle, you're going to do this with the one candle. Since I have a coffin candle, I'm going to do this with that, all right, with this, okay? Now, what you're going to do is on one side, you're going to put him. And on the other side, the name paper, you fold it away. I fold you away from this piece of shit. I fold you away, mind, body, and spirit. I fold you away from this piece of shit. Mind, body, and soul. I fold you away from this piece of shit. Mind, body, and spirit. I fold you away from him. May you lose all interest in him. Stay the fuck away from him. Okay. Now. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention that you're going to need this knife. All right? 
a knife or a scissor, whichever you prefer, okay? So on one side of the candle, you're going to put him and the knife or the scissor in between, okay? Now, like I said, you could do this with only the one candle, but since I have this to represent death of the relationship between them, but you don't have to do this. Let's say this is the only candle you have, and it's where you have his name written backwards, okay? Use that. But you want to keep her on the other side, keep the name paper on the other side of the knife or scissor, okay? If you were to use a scissor, you could even do both if you want. Okay, to represent cutting him away, you could put that right in between them. Like that. Knife and a scissor. Or just one, one or the other. It doesn't really matter. Okay, now you're going to take the wax and you're going to seal it with nine drops. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? And then you're just going to let this burn down. Once you've let it burn down, okay, once this is burned all the way down, you can take a Ziploc bag or plastic bag or whatever. Once this is burned down, you take this, and you put it in the bag, okay? Preferably if you have a black bag, it's even better, but whatever you have. You tie it up good, and then you put it either in the freezer, okay, to freeze the person away, or if you only, if you know what you're doing, bury it in the cemetery, okay? Either way, if you're not experienced, I highly suggest you only just put it in the back of your freezer where nobody's going to mess with it. If you know how to bury in the cemetery, go ahead and bury this in the cemetery, okay? I will say, though, the freezer does tend to work quicker, but the cemetery is more permanent. So whatever you prefer, but do not, and I repeat, do not go burying shit in the cemetery if you do not know exactly what you're doing, okay? So that is it, folks. Very simple, very effective, and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more uh, simple spells like this, like the video so I know you guys enjoy the, the easy spells. And don't forget to subscribe. That really helps me out. I notice a lot of you that are public subscribers. I can see who y'all are su subscribed to. There's some of you that watch every video, comment, but y'all are not subscribed. What are you doing with your life? How are you watching me and not subscribed yet? Oh, and you could even thumbs down the video because that actually helps me too, morons that do that. You're, you're actually doing me a favor. So go ahead and feel free to dislike the video as well. Anywho, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles, bitch.